the first i would like to call dr nr haldar sir uh, to get um, on our to start off with our outstanding achievement award so sir please uh, we will call dr bhavatosh bishwa sir and dr natesh bala sir over the stage please come sir so uh, with us dr nr haldar sir who is a renowned neurologist continuously working in the field of neurology for long years in siliguri and sir of already talked about what can be the future next so we are very happy and we are very glad to give him i mean this award and to get him in the stage now next we will be sir if you could be i mean not a sir if you could be here i mean uh, i want to call dr biplavendu talukdar sir i mean he is a uh, name he is obviously in other way was uh, assistant professor department of ihpt and ch kolkata and state he is the program officer and is a pure first bengal he is uh, actually he is okay other than this there is a best in uh, renown was there he is a man who works with medical transfusion and sir i would like to have some words from your side in the field of transfusion medicine and stem cell good afternoon and this is a very pleasant moment and a pleasant environment also so uh, we like to say as a the big platform uh, for um, to propagate something from the uh, the some points of time and uh, this is the great moment so so basically the transfusion medicine is a is a different era it is a, basically it's a futuristic medicine why the transfusion medicine is a futuristic medicine because the most of the diseases there is millions of millions of diseases but it is a part of the cellular therapy so cell therapy is a modern achievement of the some scientists and as well as it is a part of the research work so so many kinds of cell and the regeneration and the regenerative potential of the cell is very important and is guides that the first transfusion medicine is developed from that uh, 1900 by the karl lenstrainer and after that there is a, there is so many development because firstly there is a cell therapy the red cell therapy the red cell is the only cell red cell carry the heme and heme is the only responsible person for to carry the oxygen and the uh, that heme oxygenate the tissue but instead the heme there is a cover that is the red cell membrane but not only that that heme is not touching the red cell membrane but there there is a two two globin chain that hanging the heme molecule and then don't touch the membrane so after that the uh transfuse the rbc and that cures the most most of the disease just like the hematological diseases but if there is any imbalance just like the globin chain or there is a in the membrane defect or there is a, so many types of antigens also also present over the red cell surface there is a millions of millions antigens of, of present over red cell surface that's it gives some a uh, clue to the researcher after that there is so many things the stem cells come and stem cells first successfully transplanted in 1900 and 7, uh, 91 that there is a cord blood science and there, there from there the cord blood science developed and that cord blood science and there, there is a establishment established treatment that is the hematological stem cells and that hematological stem cells we can get from the a peripheral bone marrow stem cells umbilical cord blood stem cells and the bone marrow stem cells so and most of the patients those are suffering from the malignancies and the others the hematologic hematological oncological disease and the solid tumors they need the chemotherapy and after that uh, there is a destruction of the most of the the, the host cells and if we transplant it that the product that is the stem cell hematopoietic stem cells and that completely cured the patient and so after that not only the stem cells there is so many areas of research that is the mesenchymal stem cells epithelial stem cells 
and uh, embryonic stem cells. But there is a sub, some legal issues also. So uh, that's why the cellular therapy is a newer generation of medicines because most of the drugs that develop, but drugs unable to cure the most of the diseases that can the therapeutically uh, that uses for suppression of the disease and uh, uh, some kinds of rescue. Oh, so we need the um, uh, cellular therapy. And uh, I think the more advancement, more research, and more equipment based. This is a teamwork. Basically, center's work is basically the teamwork. If the equipment, equipment development and the molecular development of the nano and the beyond the gene that is the epigenetics is very much responsible for the development of the such kinds of stem cell therapy. Uh, so that's all. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Biblavendu, sir, for your excellent, valuable opinion about stem cell. And Delhi, just to uh, give you a support, as because we are getting supports, I mean, different area, we are planning to make this health up with involving all the states surrounding, like from Chennai, Lifeline Hospital, Dr. J. S. Rajkumar, sometimes back, he was on the screen. So he used to day, I mean, daily, we know that he is doing stem cell transplant there. So already he did a couple of cases, um, plenty of cases there. Every day they used to do, he used to do there. So this kind, I mean, we require this kind of people to march and to make this health up here. So that's what we all are here and college times are doing the thing, are trying to do the thing over here and with all of your support. Uh, next, I'm going to call Dr. Prince Parekh. He is renowned pediatrician of Neotia Gaval Multispecialties Hospital and director, newborn and child care unit. Sir, kindly please come. And I'm, in, I'm asking uh, Dr. Pavatus sir to come on the stage and to hand over the Outstanding Achievement Award to Dr. Franz Parikh, Prince Parikh. Sir, I will like to uh, get some words from your side about uh, this. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm a pediatrician, a child specialist, a neonatal and pediatric intensivist. So my advocacy is for child health. Over the last one decade, what we have been trying to focus are two different realms. One, in North Bengal, we have been trying to focus on the wellness aspects, the preventive aspects, the vaccination, the patient education, parent education. That was something which is very important in a country like India, where we often try to cut corners in healthcare, trying to talk about cost-effective healthcare, which often becomes very difficult when it comes to intensive care. Being a neonatal and pediatric intensivist, I have a pain in mind always in a country like India, 30% population is pediatric, 30 to 40% population. But if you go to any hospital, hardly you will find 5 to 10% beds are pediatric. In multi-speciality or corporate hospitals, the pediatric only keeps a very pediatric space, a very small space. So we need to think for children. We need to think for our children, and it's a terrific responsibility on every one of us that irrespective of the caste, creed, or to whatever religion the baby is born, we have a terrific responsibility towards that baby and to develop setups, infrastructure, so that we can cater to the need of pediatric population. Now, what happens is, particularly if I talk about in the context of North Bengal, Siliguri, we don't have any separate pediatric hospital. Yes, when I say we don't have any, means we don't have any pediatric hospital. We have a wonderful department in government sectors in some of the private hospitals, say the hospital that I work, but you need a dedicated pediatric setup which I think the message I would like to convey to the government uh, policy makers also. And scope should be provided or there should be more help that should be provided to that, you know, pediatric setups uh, in private sector also should come up individually. That is the need of Siliguri. In fact, I would say we, we talk about definitely there is a big need for oncology, many other branches, neurosurgery, neurology, very rightly said. But we must not forget our little friends. The pediatric population deserves to have dedicated pediatric setups. That, that is what I would like to put to today's podium. Uh, we have so many learned people here, some of the young, young generation, young brains, and we have a lot of dedicated social workers, 
and activists and educated people in healthcare here. So this is the message that I would like to, to, uh, to put forward. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Prince. I mean, to give a valuable opinion about how we can go ahead with all modalities and all departments. Next, uh, obviously, from my stream and my senior sir, Dr. Pavin Reddy, sir, consultant radiologist, his thing I was talking about, he was not from Son of the Soil, uh, he was not started as a Son of Soil, but he made himself as a Son of Soil and served all the people of Son of Soil. Sir. So I'm requesting him to come over here, and for that, I will call another radiologist and CEO, Dr. Natesh Bala, sir. Please come on the stage and to hand over the Outstanding Achievement Award for the Department of Radiology, continuously doing day and out in Siliguri. Dr. Pravin, sir, um, I will request you to give some words about this. Well, thank you, Ayan, for giving, freezing me and some kind words from me. I will also thank uh, Mr. Akram for organizing such a fantastic show. Now, uh, I'll not really, uh, what I want to, I'll tell you brief about what is happening around and what is required. First of all, I am a member of a lot of other organizations in Siliguri, like say, uh, PII, PIKI, uh, Bombay Ch Bengal Chamber of Commerce, so many organizations are there, but uh, hardly something is being done by them for healthcare industry. Hardly I've seen, I've been a member of all these organizations in the last 20 years, but uh, the focus in health on health industry is very, very less. Against that, Policy times, Chamber of Commerce has come with an exclusive, uh, or rather, I, I feel that this is this policy times of Chambers is exclusively designed for healthcare, and that is what I'm delighted and, and thankful to them that they're doing good job. I'll also wish them good luck. Now, uh, about healthcare industry in, uh, especially in uh, North Bengal, I can't talk about what is happening in the rest of the Bengal, but I'm here since last 23 years. Uh, phenomenal growth. Siliguri has grown, grown exceptionally well in all sectors, even health sector also. But health sector is growing with one limb. It's like limping. It is not running. Why? Because lack of uh, good uh, infrastructure, lack of good doctors, rather more number of good doctors. We have good doctors. And the, the most important thing is the healthcare sector is always run by the paramedical staff. The paramedical staff is lacking hugely, hugely in this building. And why? The reason may be uh, most of the students are not aware about the paramedical education. Second reason may be there are very least number of in institutions in North Bengal who are offering paramedical education. The third is a lot of people are also going outside West Bengal to get paramedical education. Paramedical education means not just nursing, but also technical course in various subjects. So once a fellow gets a DMLT uh, a diploma or some degree from outside Bengal, it is very difficult for him to get registered in West Bengal because many of these things are not being recognized by West Bengal. Suppose a technician from Sikkim comes with Manipal, he's not being recognized by West Bengal government. So my request to the policy times will be if they can put us another arm in here that is strategizing and helping the manpower development in healthcare sector especially for West Bengal, that will be a big, big service to this region, especially for these hospitals. Because being a owner of a healthcare establishment, I, I, need, I need quality technicians. I need more number of technicians, but where to get them? Because government is not going to recognize a, a graduate or a diploma holder from a non-recognized sector. They have to be registered with West Bengal Technical Education or Medical Education Committee, which they are very, very less. So this is one sector where I would request to Policy time chambers, Mr. Akram and his uh, and Bahen and his team to work on it. This will be exceptional service apart from developing the healthcare. Uh, rest are there are so many issues which I will be discussing there, maybe in private. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir, for your uh, valuable words. I would like to call Professor Suptan Sarvadikari, sir. Those side is having separate, uh, complete digital questionnaire panel, but I would like to call sir and for that, I would like to call Dr. Bhavata sir to give the Outstanding Achievement Award to Professor Suptan Sarvadikari sir. Yeah. 
yeah, 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 that's better. Sir, please come this end. Uh, I am very honored and I thank the Policy Times for awarding this Outstanding Achievers Award in healthcare. As uh, Dr. Ayan Chakravarti rightly said, I have a keynote address in the next session where I'll be elaborating a bit more on digital health. But just to put it in perspective, the World Health Organization started a division of digital health in 2019 February. So that's just about three and a half years back. And they brought out a global strategy on digital health 2020 to 2025, where digital health is defined as a field of knowledge and practice for applying digital technologies to improve health. So the purpose is really to improve the health outcomes. And that's really where digital can make a lot of difference. We'll talk about it more later. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. I would like to call our uh, next achiever, Dr. Sandeep Sengupta. He is Dean of North Bengal Medical College. Basically, he is a renowned gynecologist who was from PGI Chandigarh and he is uh, taking care of Department of Gynecology in North Bengal Medical College. So I'd like to call Dr. Bhavata sir to give the award. I'd like to have Dr. Sandeep over here. He is uh, one of my batchmates also in the other region. So it's very precious time to get my batchmate as in the same uh, stage of have getting outstanding achievement award in Siliguri, where Policy Times wants to make a healthcare hub very soon. One, please. Good afternoon, respected dignitaries on the dais and of the dais, and yes, it's really nice to receive this award from our ex vice chancellor, eminent cardiothoracic surgeon respected Professor Bhavatosh Bishash. Really indeed, my, I am a fortunate, very much fortunate to be here. And this is a nice venture, I must say. This is basically the beginning of a new journey. And we have to plan, we are planning so much, but we don't execute most often. But um, after discussing, after interacting with this vibrant team, I am sure that Shiliguri is going to be a health hub not only catering the seven sister states or the people of North Bengal, part of Bhutan, part of Sikkim, Nepal, part of Bangladesh and Bihar, but entire India and even abroad, if we can execute our plan in a proper direction. And not only a health hub, if a health hub is started or a good super specialty hospital with so many facilities, we don't have robotics, we don't have pet CT from diagnostics, because often I say that our notion is medicine, surgery, pediatrics, orthopedic, these are the pillars of a hospital, but I must say that these are not the pillars of hospital. This is the evidence-based medicine era, so that is why the pathology, biochemistry, microbiology, transfusion medicine, and radio diagnosis is, of course, these subjects and these streams and these centers are the pillars of a good hospital. And that is why diagnostic part must be put emphasized. And apart from that, we need to develop so many things. Our honorable um, health secretary, Dr. Mr. Sharup, Narayan Sharup Nigam, um, he was asked a question by honorable sir, Dr. Enar Haldar, that what, about, what is about the Department of Neurology and Neurosurgery, North Bengal Medical College. And as a Dean of Student Affairs of North Bengal Medical College and Nodal Officer, incidentally, for the super specialty block, which is about to start, and already five OPDs are started, I want to inform you all that uh, we have separate neurology and neurosurgery department, and we have started a separate pediatric surgery department. And we expect that cardiothoracic surgery and plastic surgery department will start soon. But the main thing is that we lack good number of consultants and experienced doctors. For that, our honorable WSD, our other uh, personalities, they are related to this. They are working day in and day out. But the thing is that here, 
I can see the respected um, principals from different schools, Narayangar, Muroli Ganj High School, um, uh, Darjeeling Public School. So I must request them that the main thing which is lacking here, that is more and more number of students, I hope, I wish them to get chance in NEET UG exam and subsequently do PG. So unless and until a good Bhumiputras are created, uh, these centers are very difficult to run. And there was another very good proposal to develop a good pediatric institute here. Because being an ex-PGI, I know how a pediatric setup should be, starting from genetics, starting from other innovative ideas. So pediatric surgery all should work together. And we, fortunately, I'm a gynecologist and I am the only, I am representative on only that part of medical fraternity that takes care of two lives simultaneously. So maternal and child healthcare must be improved. And I hope the health hub will be established very soon. And simultaneously that will guide us, that will direct us, that will motivate us to establish an educational hub and allied medical that is previously that was known as paramedical. Because one thing uh, I can tell because paramedical courses are there in North Bengal Medical College. And there are so many institutes that are developing here in this part of Shiliguri, nursing colleges and paramedical colleges. So I can say that there are enthusiastic students, but main problem is that majority of them are not going to get government job. And when they go for an interview to a private institute, not always, but most of the times, they are exploited. They are getting very less amount of salary. So a professional person is not getting good salary. That is why they are not coming into this profession. So the, all the entrepreneurs, all the uh, hospital owners must, must look into this matter. Otherwise, this allied medical service is not going to boom and that plan is going to be shattered. I am very fortunate that I am here and I must be thankful because whatever award you have given that is associated with some sort of in responsibilities it entrusted on me. And this is not the award given to Dr. Sandeep Shengupto. It is the award of my all my students, be medical, be paramedical, be postgraduates. Where it is their untiring effort for which we have developed like a good institute and we hope that in near future, North Bengal Medical College, I should not utter this word, North Bengal, so many times. It is basically a medical college established in northern part of West Bengal. So that will shine as one of the pole star in the field of medical profession in India. Thank you all for your patient hearing. I have to attend the meeting in medical college. So that is why I want to take permission, but this program is probably, uh, there are so many other sessions. So after finishing that meeting, uh, I will join here again. So thank you all for patient hearing. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Shandeep, for your uh, kind words. And definitely we will be uh, getting you soon again, hope so. So um, my next, uh, award should be, I should call a person, a gem like person who uh, traveled all over globes and definitely, definitely through India, different part. And now he has started serving West Bengal for a while back. And now we are planning to have him. Maybe we will not get, but actually we can give the idea how we can go ahead for making this a proper hub for carcinoma involving gastrointestinal region. I mean, he is a famous uh, gastrointestinal ca uh, cancer surgeon, oncosurgeon, Dr. Shuddha Shatto Sen. I will request him to come over the stage, I mean, come here, and I will request Dr. Bhavata sir to come over here to give the award as outstanding achievement part from Policy Times. One best part I would like to uh, say, the 
uh, sir who is giving this award he is a stall award dr bhavadas bisa he is from archikar and who is getting the award he is also from archikar so like that he so uh, uh, when dr shuddha satu is having uh, something to say and i would like to call uh, shuddha satu sin over here on the stage so our i would like to call uh, mr goel to give some words about our planning of health hub in sriguri good evening everyone and thank you for giving us an outstanding achievement award in health care first of all i would like to greet you all that our blood bank started services in the year 2005 and in the last 17 years we are holding doing our best to serve the people of siliguri and surrounding areas ensuring optimal blood availability at all times sir is waqt hum log hamare paas do blood डोनर वैन है जो दूर दराज से ब्लड कलेक्शन करती हैं हमारे पास एक क्रिटिकल केयर एम्बुलेंस भी चलाते हैं हम जो सभी आपातकालीन उपकरणों से सुसज्जित है और पिछले 12 वर्षों से गंभीर रोगियों को एक स्थान से दूसरे स्थान पर ट्रांसफर करने में फायदेमंद साबित होती है सर वी आर द ओनली स्टैंड एलोन ब्लड बैंक इन नॉर्थ ईस्ट इंडिया With Afrasis facility, 2019 में हमने Helsinia Daycare Center शुरू किया था और वर्तमान में हम हर महीने करीब 55 फाइव थेलेसेमिक रोगियों को ब्लड ट्रांसफ्यूशन के साथ लगभग लगभग मुफ्त में सर्विस दे रहे हैं हम सिलीगुड़ी हेमोफीलिया सोसाइटी की मदद से हेमोफीलिया के सभी मरीजों को मुफ्त में दवाएं भी उपलब्ध कराते पिछले 16-17 महीनों में हमने 75,000 से अधिक लोगों को रियायती दरों पर कोविड टीकाकरण प्रदान किया और इतनी बड़ी संख्या में टीकाकरण अभियान चलाने वाले हम एकमात्र लाइन्स क्लब हैं वर्तमान में हम प्रतिदिन 100 से अधिक लोगों को रक्त और उसके कंपोनेंट्स प्रदान करते हैं हम हर महीने 30 से भी अधिक रक्तदान शिविर भी आयोजित करते हैं वी आर वेरी थैंकफुल टू पॉलिसी टाइम्स फॉर गिविंग अस दिस आउटस्टैंडिंग अचीवमेंट अवार्ड थैंक यू सर